Water is a fundamental ingredient to life and a fundamental ingredient to a healthy life. So when it rains, water falls from the ground, it goes into the soils, it helps contribute the soil moisture. The soil moisture helps break down minerals and nutrients to support plant life. Plant life supports photosynthesis. Photosynthesis supports our, our planet. So in a forested setting, when it rains, the water falls to the ground, it soaks into the soils, and most of it replenishes um, our groundwater supplies and provides this important moisture for our, our um, plants and animals and microorganisms to thrive. Precipitation is really a fundamentally valuable element to our healthy environment. When we change a forested setting to a paved setting or houses or other buildings, we alter this balance. Uh, instead of the rainfall soaking into the ground and contributing to this healthy ecosystem, most of it runs off of the land and picks up pollutants, nutrients, and other elements that degrade or contribute to poor water quality in our lakes, streams, rivers, and estuaries. And this creates an imbalance in the system. Over time, and with a, a lot of different perspectives, it became pretty obvious that nature does a really good job at managing rainfall and runoff. And we should look at how that works. Our organization over the last 20 years or so has been at the forefront of taking this concept of mimicking nature and developing designs and planning projects to create a system to manage stormwater differently than in the past. Again, green stormwater infrastructure a nature-based solution is designed after Mother Nature. As we look to the future, we have to look at a, a changing planet and a changing climate. Um, we are seeing more rainfall. We're seeing more high intensity storms and we have to adapt. One of the great things about green stormwater infrastructure is its resiliency. We can design systems that will change over time. They, they, may, they may have to be deeper than they were when we started with, but they'll work. We're looking at softer systems, softer designs that, again, use plants and vegetation and soils to uh, manage the, the challenging conditions that we expect uh, in the next 10 to 20 years and beyond.